Welcome fans to the Edge Ice Arena, home of the Robert Morris University Eagles of Illinois. Here we have the Lakers and the Robert Morris Colonials of Pennsylvania. Speed. This is March. The freshman out of New York comes around, centers that one out in front, but a good defensive play made there by Zappi. A good job possessing this puck in Laker territory. Zappi with it along on the near side. Shot and a save is made by Danzig. Again, finally it's Marsh coming along. Has Zinner with it. Zinner moving it out in front. He shoots and the save is made. Marsh with it. He scores! Getting the rebound and the Lakers are up on top. One to Slippery Rock and score the goal as he got behind the defense. Stick goes flying up in the air. That was Zappi's stick. Not cuts over that far side. Finds Galbraith. Galbraith behind the defense, covering this puck. Shoots! And the save is Gaso. As Galbraith wasn't able to get a good shot off, had two defensemen chasing. The shot goes. Never made it to the net as it sits around. Out in front. Puck goes. Danzig with the save. Still down and out. Makes a second save. That puck goes over that far side. I don't know how Danzig kept that one out. <laughs> kept in, though. Over to that far side. Back here, shot on, they score. A heavy blast there by Boyer. And finally, the Colonials are on board. It's a tie game, one to one. So this is Galbraith. Galbraith dancing along, great move there. Just couldn't get it past the goaltender. Tried to do that signature Galbraith move. Just didn't work this time as he couldn't hold that puck. Would have been a great chance to get the Lakers back on top. Schaefer down in front, he shoots, he scores! Patty Yellow with a nice backhand sauce, and the Lakers back up by one. Colonials clear this puck into the neutral zone, and the Lakers trying to take it here as the Colonials trying to get a change. Back behind the defense, he shoots, he scores! Zappi took the puck away, a bad giveaway there by the Laker defense, and this game's tied once again. Had a lead twice taken away. Out in front, this puck sits there. He scores! I don't know how that one went through, but Gaso had to go right through the five hole. Lakers back up on top by one. 40 seconds of the power play. Lakers taken away. This is Marsh. Marsh, two on one now. Marsh looking for the hat trick, moves it here. He scores! Oh my gosh, what a move by Marsh to score the hat trick. And the Lakers are up by two, four to two. Shorthanded goal by Marsh. Out here, Zinner now behind the defense. Bo Zinner dancing here, shoots at that puck, just sits there, is able to get a stick on that was Gaso. Marsh picks it up, skates into the zone with speed, has Galbraith with him. Marsh here, shoots off the post as Marsh now looking for the hat trick. Thought he had it earlier, but that initial goal was taken away. Lakers really applying the pressure here. Galbraith with it, looking for it. Wrap around out in front, they score! Taddy Yellow getting his second of the night, and the Lakers will take the three goal lead with six seconds remaining. For the Colonials, this is Mayhew working with Galbraith. Mayhew has Galbraith. Galbraith with it, he shoots and sends that one back to Mayhew. Mayhew just in too far, couldn't get a good shot off. Here, Marsh all alone, he shoots, and the pad stop there by Gate. Here, puck moved over to the far side, opportunity with space, he shoots right into the chest of Danzig, who comes in nicely, can't get around the second defense line of the Lakers. Jarvis, the long shot, he scores. Danzig screened out in front, and this is a one goal game with under 10 minutes remaining to play. Over to that far side here. Out in front, they shoot, and Danzig with the save, gloves it down, sprawling out, going post to post, unable to get that puck lifted up with Sarin, as he'll look up to the sky, regretting not putting that one top shelf. Taken here, moving it forward, 110 remaining, slap shot on, off a of skate and in. This game's tied up, Henley redirecting that one with the boot, and it is five to five after power play goals get the Colonials back in this game. Wrapped around the boards. A good bounce comes for the Colonials. Shot on, off the post, and doesn't go in as Danzig was down. He has not been seeing this puck well. Will be sent here. Opportunity now for Mayhew and Galbraith. Mayhew coming along. Over to Galbraith. Galbraith shoots off the post. 
Gowers just missed it by inches. Back down low, had his stick tied up. As now in behind the defense. This is Saren, Saren all alone, he shoots and scores. Decision by the official as this puck is sent down and the Colonials upset the Lakers six to five with a late goal. Welcome fans to the drop of the puck. Face off one back by the Bisons of North Dakota State. First get there in enough time and he's beaten to the puck there by Burns. Puck out in front, they score! Alex Galbraith in the crease sends that one home as Patrick Schaefer releasing the pass across. The Lakers up on board, one did not. Two on one opportunity, Valencia with it. Valencia feathers it! And a great save made by Simichowski. And it will be flipped up by the Bison. Burkhardt trying to work here, he's get worked around. Benson with the shot, he scores. A bad pinch there made by Burkhardt. And again, bad defense. We've seen this all. And Marsh will move it forward. Had two goals last night. A great performance by him. Center's out in front for Zinner. Zinner there. Puck just knocked away as Zinner had an open net to take that one. Another odd man rush coming. This is Benson. Benson, big hit there by Schwab. As Benson, a little bit slow to get back to his stick. Great. This puck in Bison territory. Sent back down for Gabberth. Gabberth out in front. He shoots and the save is made by Simichowski. Schaefer had that wide open side. Unable to get his puck. Moves it over to George. George all alone. Moving in. Shoots. And Simichowski with a great save. Leaning over as George went to his backhand. Simichowski has been strong. Puck goes right to North Dakota State. In behind the defense. As Ansel's there, shot on. Another save. Ansel out of position. Another save there. And I don't know how Ansel made those saves. Lakers trying to take this puck away. It's Alex Galbraith coming on. Out in front. That shot's there. And he scores. Patrick Schaefer gets it this time. And he'll be sure to bury that one top shelf as the Lakers regain the lead 2-1 to one with 5.13 remaining. I moved up. Tadiello couldn't grab hold of it. And now an opportunity, Galbraith in all alone. Alex Galbraith, Tadiello, Galbraith to Tadiello. Tadiello couldn't handle it, and it slides right past. Puck out in front. Burkhardt can't get to it as that puck is lofted out in front. They score. Lakers defense fails once again as two Bison in all alone. And getting the last stick on it was Polfus to roof it up over the glove of Ansel. Arts will go two on one with Zinner. Martz. Has it here to Zinner, Zinner shot, and a save made by Simichowski, getting it in the five hole and just holding it tight. Long pass up to Zinner, finds Valencia, Valencia behind the defense, he shoots, he scores! A great move by Valencia, and they finally get it past Simichowski to take the 3-2 lead. A great pass, though, by Bo Zinner, freshman to freshman, Lakers back up. Two on one developing. It's my Goita and Tadiello. Tadiello back to my Goita. My Goita shot on, blocked away. Back over to Schwab. Schwab with the long blast, blocked it away by Simichowski. Back to Zinner. Zinner has George out in front. George shoots and scores. Lakers with the two goal lead, four to two. George sending that one just far side gets the Lakers up four to two by Zinner. Normally known for his hits, showing his offensive ability here. Fretzel comes long in all alone. Fretzel shoots and scores. Fretzel shooting, deking, and scoring for Merciers. A quick response will gain a three-goal lead, 5-2. to two. Merciers, Lakers unable to keep it in as it will be picked up on the far side here by Benson. Benson moving along out in front. That puck just slid wide. Looking to get it here. This is Galbraith coming along. Galbraith dancing here. Gets around one. Couldn't get it past the Machowski, but a nice move by Galbraith to dance behind the defense. Valencia takes it here. Stops up. Signals for Schaefer to move down low. Out in front, they score! Martz down in front, getting fed from Valencia, and the Lakers take the four-goal lead on yet another power play goal. As it's picked up and turned away by Moeller. Moeller with a man here, he shoots, and the save is made by Ansel as that centering pass went for Norenberg. His center. Zinner coming in with speed, has a man crashing down on him, that puck sits there in that blue paint. 
but Marsh wasn't there in enough time to get that rebound. Blanchard up to Valencia. Valencia dancing around. Valencia all alone. Out in front. They score! Justin Fressel with his second of the game. A nice feed there by Valencia, who had the opportunity to shoot it himself, but instead decided to be generous and gave it to Fretzel. Lakers lead seven. And it finds Marsh. Marsh and Martz looking here two on one. Marsh with the shot, just getting a love on it. Glove on it was Simichowski. Down low. For Tadio, Tadio back to Smith playing six and cut. Tadio spins off, shot on, he scores! A great shot by Tadio. And he'll get the Lakers up 8 2 2. Gets it back. It's taken now by Fennel. Fennel on, working around the fence, backhand, up off the glove. It's shot and scored, but the net was off the scoring, and it is a call for the Lakers, even though the net was off. It was Emilio Mayakoyja getting the goal in and putting the Lakers up by seven. So a controversial goal right there. Not that it really matters with 2.41 remaining. Puck here, as it is Schaefer, out in front for Gabbert. Gabbert here, he shoots, he scores! Galbraith holds that one, waits for the goaltender to go down, and puts it into the wide open net for a 10-2 lead in favor of Merciers with 16.1 remaining. Valisak holds this one, and this is how the Lakers will win by a score of 10-2. A good comeback game after the upset from Robert Morris last night. The Lakers pour on the 10-goal performance here tonight. Welcome to Bensville, Illinois, home of the Robert Morris Illinois Eagles. The Lakers are here at the Edge Ice Arena taking on the number three ranked team in the ACHA Men's Division One. Down beneath the Laker net, centers it up for O'Connell. O'Connell shot on, out in front, they shoot. And Ansel with the save. Ian Ansel out of Columbus, Ohio. Won yesterday's game, only allowing two goals. Good for him to get back in after Danzig starting the majority. Shot and score! Schwab just sends one from the point, and it goes right through the five hole of pre track. The Lakers have the 1 0 lead early going. This can't take it there as it's over on that far side. Giveaway here. Two on one developing out in front. To Ansel with the save there. Sprawling out as that cross ice feed went right stick to stick. Up, but it's taken away there by Sargas, who moves it forward. Odd man rush coming here for Robert Morris. Two on nothing. They shoot and score. Again, that Laker defense giving up everything as that was Ellis or Ernest in all alone. Just forehand, backhand on Ansel to tie this game up at one. Beneath the net, fighting for it is Winker. Winkler out in front, centering pass. Again, another shot blocked out in front by Smith. Another one. It's held by Ansel, still loose. Ansel knocked down, and the Lakers will clear it down. Here's Galbraith out in front, he shoots. As Tadiello getting there, puck is loose, and laying on top of it was Petrak just getting enough to stop. One by Robert Morris. Simon up to Conan on the near side, sending that shot weak there. Ansel just gets over as a weird bounce, ricochet right to the side of the net. Galbraith moves the man down, two on one moving here. This is Mayhew with Martz. Mayhew looking for the shot, drops around, and scores! Holds that puck and just sends it in as the Lakers take the 2-1 lead with 43 seconds remaining. There's a two-on-one going down the ice as it looked like Mayhew was going to center that one back for Martz, but P-Track bit on that fake, and going around the goaltender P-Track was Patrick Mayhew. Ernst will pick it up for the Eagles, long shot on, heading top corner, out in front they score. Rebound came up in the air from Ansel, up off the blocker, couldn't find the rebound as Robert Morris will jump on top and tie this game up early on in this second period. Mayhew moves his puck along, finds a stick of Zinner, Zinner all alone shoots it and the save is made by Petrak. Zinner didn't have enough reach to go around the sprawling out Pete. Now it's picked up by Fretzel. Fretzel 
Two on one if they come in with speed. Fretzel all alone, shot on, he scores! Fretzel with a three goal performance this weekend gets the Lakers back on top, sending that one just below the blocker of P-Track. Eagles move this puck into Laker territory, bounce pack goes right to Captain. Out in front he shoots, and a save is made by Ian Ansel. A great sprawling save as he dove to get back. It moves it down low. Awkward shot there, they shoot and score. Just a bouncing play out in front as the Lakers couldn't clear that puck out of the zone. And Robert Morris, Illinois, will tie this game up once again. Seamosh, Seamosh strong on his feet, finally knocked off. Puck sits there, another opportunity here, and Ansel with another save. As Ernst moves it back over to O'Connell, O'Connell out in front, they shoot and score. Persistence by Robert Morris, Illinois, just getting those shots on net as the Lakers' fourth line allows a goal. To the point, as Seamosh gets it back out in front, they score. So again, these five-minute major penalties have been killing the Lakers as Robert Morris, Illinois, will score their fifth goal of the game. Low, man knocked down in front of the net over there. This is Ponatello out in front. They shoot and score. So the Lakers allow another power play goal. Again, unable to get this puck cleared out of their own zone. And Robert Morris will take the advantage. Zone, Balasak going back in Laker territory to pick this puck up. A wraparound chance and they score as Winkler will get his second of the game. Trying to get it back up top. Martz moves it forward, flips it up for Valencia. Valencia in behind the defense, comes around, shot on, and the save is made by Petrak as Valencia is tied up going to the net. Thick of Blanchard as Bayer trying to retreat back. Bailey has his puck centered out in front. They shoot and score. A bad giveaway by the Laker defense, and it is 8-3 in favor of Robert Morris, Illinois. Two on one developing the other way. Winkler with it. Winkler looking for the hat trick. They shoot and score. Ernst will get that centering pass and he'll get his second of the game as the Lakers falling apart. And now Popov will come in with speed, blowing past Blanchard, dropping it off for Simosh. Third man in. Nice save by Danzig. Tadiello back to Mayhew, back to Tadiello, back to Mayhew, up to Schaefer. Schaefer to Tadiello, Tadiello shot, he scores! Tadiello ripping that one five hole. And the Lakers will score on the power play. As uh, they've had things all night. Shoots and scores! Alex Gower with the slap shot. And the Lakers quickly score on the power play. A chance the other way for Simush. Simush breaks around Chattiel. He shoots and the net is off. And he shoots wide, and finally we'll have a whistle. Balasak moves it forward, long slap shot on. And the Lakers will drop this one, 9-5, against the Robert Morris Eagles.